Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are planning to raise their child with a fluid gender approach according to reports, in a move which could potentially revolutionize royal parenting. The revelation means, at the very least, avoiding pushing what could be seen as traditional gender stereotypes. Last month it was reported the couple have constructed a gender-neutral nursery at their home in Windsor. Meghan is expected to give birth to the couple's first child this spring. Speaking to Vanity Fair magazine a source commented, Meghan has been talking to some of her friends about the birth and how she and Harry plan to raise their baby. Her exact word was fluid. She said they plan to raise their child with a fluid approach to gender and they won't be imposing any stereotypes. The source was not clear on exactly what Meghan meant by gender fluid. Some parents deliberately avoid associating their children with historically gender-linked colors, in particular, pink and blue. They may also avoid promoting toys which have historically been associated with one gender. Other parents go further, raising their children as gender-neutral rather than explicitly male or female. American actress Kate Hudson attracted attention recently after revealing to AOL that she plans a genderless approach to raising her daughter Renee, who was born last October. Commenting on Instagram she later explained, me saying a genderless approach was a way of refocusing the conversation in a direction that could exist outside of the female stereotype. It just felt a little antiquated to me. Not all girls want to be a princess, some want to be a king. Meghan and Harry recently returned to the UK from a three-day official visit to Morocco. During the trip they met Moroccan King Mohammed VI, visited an equestrian sports centre and drops in at a girls' boarding house run by the Education for All charity. Prior to that Meghan attended a private baby shower with friends in New York's five-star The Mark Hotel. According to people attendees included Amal Clooney, Serena Williams and stylist Jessica Moroni.